Hey everyone, a very generous viewer sent me this Detectron DG2 Geiger counter and I decided to uh, take it apart tonight and see how it was doing. So this Geiger counter was originally uh, battery powered, it was portable, and it was powered by two of these B batteries at 45 volts apiece and uh, two D cells at, you know, one and a half volts apiece. So since I don't have any B batteries, what I'm doing is using this high voltage supply to feed it its high voltage. And uh, this will be making appearances in future videos as well. This is an electrophoresis power supply that claims it can do 6 kilovolts at 100 milliamps. Um, that's a lot of power at high voltage, so we're going to be hooking this up to some capacitor banks and uh, seeing what we can do with that later. But the really cool thing is that you can set uh, current, power, and voltage and if you put it on its uh, set mode, you can put different values in for each of the limits, and then it will select which limit is being hit. So you can actually configure this to do quite a lot of things. The only downside is that it has a lot of safeties in its output, and so it requires a load to be connected before it will start the power. Uh, and if something weird happens, like if you have more voltage going in than it's supplying, it shuts down and all kinds of stupid stuff. But in any case, to power the Geiger counter, I've got a 1 meg resistor just to get past some of that, and its output is not very clean, so I'm feeding it through an RC network into the Geiger counter, and currently it's only using 2.2 milliamps, and currently it looks like what I've got here is a, a bad tube. So I've got um, a strontium-90 source on the end of this stick. I actually don't have a pure gamma source, so I'm just using this strontium-90, which is a beta emitter. And if I put it right near the tube and kind of tap on it, nothing's happening. Now I'll swear that I've had this actually work with its existing tube if I kind of tap on it just right, but it really doesn't seem to be doing much. So to test it, uh, I've hooked up another Geiger tube. Uh, this one I borrowed from Mighty Ohm's Geiger counter. And now you can see it's actually working just fine. So if I even get within a few inches, it's uh, almost topping the scale at uh, 0.2 millirads per hour. So the device has three tubes total, two up here and one here, and I believe this lower tube in conjunction with this coil, this is uh, not a transformer but actually just a coil, uh, forms the high voltage generation circuit for this. And there's a neon light here which functions as a, you know, a kind of a voltage controlled switch there. Uh, presumably the voltage is stored in these two caps and the tube operates at about 270 volts. So the way these Geiger tubes work is it's basically just a uh, center conductor uh, with some very low pressure gas in here and when a gamma wave enters the tube it ionizes one of the gas molecules and provides a way for charge to leak from one electrode to the next. So the more uh, radioactive waves and particles you have going on in there, the more ionization you'll have and the more current will flow between the two electrodes. So it's actually very simple in principle. The device has three different scales on the front and what it's doing is it's selecting in one of these three precision capacitors up here. These are mica, mica layer capacitors. And for the gauge readout there's a very large cap here that integrates the signal. So between these two uh, vacuum tubes on the top, I imagine there's a, a fairly sensitive amplifier and amplifies those uh, current pulses from the tube into something that can be read out. It also has a, a headphone jack, a headphone jack over here. So overall, pretty cool piece of kit and still working after, you know, 60 or 70 years or whatever it's been, except for the tube itself. And even that, I, I kind of, I, I, like I say, I swear I've seen that thing working, but I think the electrode might have jiggled loose so it occasionally shorts out or something like that. Okay, see you next time. Bye.